All right, so if you haven't heard the news, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel has just come out. Now, here's the problem. You don't know how to get free gems. You don't know how to craft. You don't know which packs to buy. You literally don't even know how to optimize your settings to get the best experience, okay? So this video is for you. And if you guys enjoy this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that like button. Comment down below if you want me to make another video to kind of go more in depth on this topic, all right? So let's get into the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels Ultimate Beginner's Guide. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you get into the game is you're gonna wanna hit the sub menu button, go to game settings, and now you're gonna go to quality. Now, if you do have a kind of a slower PC or a lower end budget system, you do always wanna be in this full screen resolution, okay? So once you guys are in this full screen resolution, you're gonna go to quality and hit recommended. So this should kind of give you um, a general idea of what your computer can handle. And if it still runs slowly, you can go to resolution and lower the resolution yourself. So you guys can, um, you know, have a nice smooth gaming experience. Now, obviously if you have a medium PC, um, hitting recommended should be enough. And if you have a high end PC, max that baby out to high resolution and everything will kind of fall into place. Konami did a good job optimizing its platform to do just that. Okay, let's move over to one of the bigger topics of today's video, and that's how to get free gems. Now, when you first download the game and you play the game, especially if you're on the PS4 or PS5, and, and you have their kind of subscription bundle, you guys actually get 50 free packs that you can redeem. Now, let's say you don't have that, you downloaded it on Steam, and you don't have any free gems or free packs or anything. Simple enough, we're gonna go over to our solo mode. Now, during solo mode, you get cards, orbs, and gems for completing these objectives. So now if you go to over, let's say the tutorial, right? And you click play and you finish the tutorial, you will generally get cards and gems that you wouldn't have gotten um, prior. So if you click practice, it'll tell you that I've already cleared it and I've gotten 500 gems. Now in solo mode, you have a plethora of things that you can do and once you've unlocked all of them as you unlock them you unlock more so um not only will you have free cards you will also have free gems that you can use and orbs and other goodies that come with finishing that solo mode so if you guys want free gems i highly recommend you try finishing solo mode and you'll have a much better beginning experience if you want to be free to play all right let's move over on how to shop now you have the most powerful car in the world right and that's your credit card, the power of money. So let's say you do want to spend money on this game, right? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click this little gem button at the top and you're going to buy these gems, right? Now, I highly recommend buying these last two packs at the end. These are actually in the front, but because I've already bought them, you can't buy these anymore. But these are definitely your best bang for your buck and where you should start when you're purchasing, uh, purchasing gems. Now, um, when you go over into the shop menu, you're going to notice that you have packs structured decks, accessories, and special. Now, in this pack section, you have normal packs, secret packs, and bonus packs. Now, we're not even gonna worry about the bonus pack section because it just doesn't matter. It does nothing to help increase our card pool that is like usable per se. Now, under normal pack, you see something called master pack. I highly recommend you to not buy these master packs. And let me show you why. If you click master pack and you click cards included in this pack, you are trying to pull 10 of 6,750 cards per pack. So the chances of you getting what you want are really, really slim, right? So you definitely do not want to be buying master packs, but here's the first thing that you should do with the gems that you get from solo mode. You're going to go over to the specials tab and you're going to, you're going to invest in this dual pass that you see right here with the dual pass. As you play the game, you get rewards that are really, really important for the game. Um, this was only about 750 gems, or I'll, I'll have it up on the screen if I'm wrong, but it's not that money. It's, it's not that much money that you need to invest for this dual pass, right? Now, the bundle deals. This is where your gems should be spent right afterwards, right? All the free ones you got from solo mode can go straight into this, right? So um, if you buy these bundles, you get 10 packs for 750 gems as opposed to 1,000 gems. So uh, you save 250 gems, and on top of that, you're guaranteed an Ash Blossom, a Lightning Storm, and Solemn Judgment, which are all staple cards that you need to play the game. So just to kind of reiterate, do not buy the Master Packs. 
Um, the only kind of packs you want to be buying as you progress into the game are secret packs. Now, what are secret packs and how do you get them? Okay, we're going to kind of talk about that in the next category because it's a pretty bad category and it kind of needs its own uh, topic. Oh, and before we move on, I want to give you a couple more do nots. Okay, don't buy these structured decks. They're completely useless. Uh, you can argue you can spend 1500 to get a playable deck, but even then, if you want to be competitive, these are something that you definitely do not want to buy. And under the accessories category, you can buy these as you kind of go along. But generally speaking, if you want all the bling and all the flair, you can invest in the accessories. But generally, I mean, having a mate is cool and you can pick your own dual field as well as having your um, sleeve protectors and your kind of nameplate icons. But you generally don't need to invest in these simply because it's a waste of gems. It's a waste of gems. You just want cards. You want more cards to play the game, right? That's all you want, all right? So now let's finally move on to secret packs. Okay, so now you really want to open packs. And you're going to have to open packs because you can't craft every single card in the game. Now, the best packs to buy are something called secret packs. Now, if you notice when you first start the game and you click secret packs, you're not going to have any of these packs available to you. And as you can tell, I have a lot, but that's because if you head over to twitch.tv slash head to head battles, when the game first came out, we spent a thousand dollars. And uh, these are basically things I wish I knew before spending a thousand dollars. Okay, so the best way for you to get secret packs is really easy. The first thing you're going to do is head over to the deck section. You're going to just make a deck and go to edit deck. When you get there, right, all you have to do is click a card that you really want. So let's say I really want I see. I have a lot of cards and I should have kind of done this before. But let's say I want Odd Eyes Arc Rebellion Dragon, Arc, Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon, which is an ultra rare. You're going to click how to obtain and it will show you that it has its own pack, right? It's the Draconic Resplend Resplend Resplendent pack. Now, all you have to do is generate this card. If you generate this card one time, it will give you a secret key that will help you to unlock this secret pack, right? So if you if you look here, and we'll open up a pack and let's see if we get really, really lucky. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over to my shop and I'm gonna open up a Star War Star Wart Force pack. All right, let's open one pack. We'll purchase it and let's see if we pull something insane. Now, I already know I have an ultra rare. This this is actually insane. This orange is insane. So I'm gonna open this pack, all right. Let's see how insane it is. Uh, Cause I, there's something I really want to show you as we open these packs. So I'm gonna open card by card, like so, and then once I get this card, I get this little key. And what this key will do is open up that secret pack. I'm actually like, that was insane. That was first try. I swear to God, that was first try. And then as soon as you move over into the screen where it shows which, you know, your results of the packs that you've opened, you can see right here, secret card pack. And if I click this now, I'm going to go over to this pack. And now if I click featured cards, it gives me a, car, a pool of, not 6,750 cards like the master pack and I have access to these sky striker cards okay now this is definitely the best way for you to invest after after you've crafted all your staples and you know this is secret packs are the way for you to kind of build the decks that you really want to play moving forward now I just mentioned crafting and you're probably like Susu what the hell is crafting well let's get right into it when you want to craft cards, you're going to head over to this main page and click on deck. When you go to deck, you're going to go to just pick any deck, click edit deck. When you do that, you can see that I have cards that are lit up and cards that are not lit up, right? And these are basically what I own and what I do not own. Now, let's say I really want to play Thunder Dragons, right? Thunder Dragons, Thunder Dragons is a deck that I really want to play and I need Thunder Dragon Colossus. Now, you can see here that it says generate and cannot dismantle. Now, if I wanna generate this card, I need something called craft points. And if you look up to the upper left, these right here are your craft points. Now, um, what's really important when it comes to crafting is learning to dismantle. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can dismantle cards, but the best way is to click on this little hamburger in the upper right-hand corner. You're gonna click the dismantle all extra cards. Now, what this will do is if you have um, more than three of each copy, it will auto dismantle every single bit, giving you the points and you don't have to do it card by card, right? Also, you can click on dismantle selected cards. Now, what this will do is it will show you all the cards that you have. And if you want to do, and, and if you want to filter it by rarity, you're going to click this middle button right here and you're going to click rarity, 
um, descending, right? Now, I don't, I've already dismantled all the cards because I was playing over on uh, Twitch.tv slash Nintendo Battles. But when I dismantle a card, so um, if I go to, if I right click this card and I click dismantle, it will show me that each dismantle, each card that is being dismantled will give me 10 points. So the, the ratio in this game is three to one. Every dismantle will get you 10 points of that rarity and you need 30 points to craft that card, right? So right now I have 200 uh, super rare points. Let me show you what it looks like um, when you are going to craft the card. There is a lot of ultra rares in this game and I didn't even notice, but it's actually insane. All right, so let's say I really want Worm King, okay? I'm gonna click generate. It's going to spend 30 points out of my 200. I, actually, I, I don't wanna generate this. I, I can't do this. It's gonna hurt my soul. I can't do this, I'm sorry. You get the idea, okay? This is how you craft cards. My biggest tip when you're crafting cards is craft all your staples first. There are cards that aren't in secret packs, right? And you can, and the only way for you to get them is to generate them. So make sure you spend your credits really wisely. And all you have to remember is the magic number three, two, one. Okay, so you followed steps one through four, and you're wondering, okay, I have a fully built deck with all the staples. I'm decked out. I'm dripped out. What do I do next? Okay, so you're gonna head over to the duels page. Now I am platinum five. I have been grinding this game, but if I click this, you will see that I have standard details. Now, these are the ranks that you see on the screen. You have Rookie, Bronze, Silver, Gold, and Platinum. Now, if you follow steps one through four, you already have a pretty banging deck. And getting to Gold 5 is pretty easy. I think it took me about an hour to hit Gold 5, and then like a lot of hours to get into Platinum. But other than that, um, kind of ranking up is pretty easy, especially if you followed everything that we've talked about already, okay? So that's, um, but actually, if you want a more in-depth in depth video on, you know, what the best ways to rank up are, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll definitely try to get to that video as soon as possible. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out a little bit, um, just hit that subscribe button, like the video, and comment down below um, if you want to see that in-depth how to rank up video. Also, if you guys want to watch me play this game over on Twitch, uh, on Twitch, head over to twitch.tv slash headsetbattles um, where you can watch me kick some ass, all right? So without further ado, guys, it's been a long video. I freaking love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. This is Susu from Head to Head Battles signing out. What's, What's up, up guys? guys? If you haven't subscribed, make sure to click that button right there in the middle. Also, if you haven't watched that video that YouTube is recommending you, it's probably crazy, alright? Go watch it. This is Susu from Head to Head Battles. Head to Head Battles. Signing out.